Hi, my name is Chris, and I am a Catholic artist, and I draw many things. I draw saints, I draw sacraments, and I even draw Jesus. Because guess what? Catholics are Christian. But before you go gallivanting around on the rest of my channel, which I certainly hope that you do, I am going to try to answer the almost impossible question. What would it look like if St. Thomas Aquinas was sitting next to Matt Frad on the show Pints with Aquinas? The commentary for this video is a little bit intimidating to me. And it's intimidating because St. Thomas Aquinas, a philosopher from the 13th century, is someone who has always seemed a little bit dense to me, or at least hard to understand on the surface. And I would have to say that one of the people who has made St. Thomas Aquinas more accessible to my understanding would be Matt Frad. And the concept of his podcast, Pints with Aquinas, is that he's having a conversation with St. Thomas Aquinas through his seminal works. I am very grateful to Matt Frad for having the desire and the will to study Aquinas and to give the rest of us an entry point to be able to digest the teachings of one of the greatest philosophical minds ever to exist. Furthermore, allow us to learn things from St. Thomas Aquinas that are very important to the teachings of the church and very important to how we are as human beings. Personally, I really grew in my faith when I began to pursue the truth. The thing that's most attractive to me about St. Thomas Aquinas is the way that he spoke about the truth. He said that faith and reason cannot be in conflict with each other. And when you look at it today, sometimes people still have trouble with this. They say that you can either have God or you can have science, but they don't mix. One has to be true and the other one can't. But St. Thomas Aquinas said that they can never be in conflict with each other because God is the source of both. So if one looks like it's wrong, like for example, if reason or science looks like it's wrong, we need to go back and figure out where our thinking is faulty. And if faith looks like it's wrong, we need to look at our interpretation of the faith to see where our thinking is faulty. Truth is something that also cannot be subjective. It's reality. It comes from God. So those are some of my brief thoughts on the great doctor of the church, St. Thomas Aquinas. Now I know that I'm not to the Freudian level of knowledge on St. Thomas Aquinas, but forgive me, I haven't made Catholicism my day job like Matt Pratt has. And I can promise you that I will never produce a YouTube video that takes three hours. Three hours. You know, I do have a question about that. I've always wondered on these long interviews that Matt Pratt does, like with Father Mike Smiths or Andrew Swafford, or other people like that, that really know how to talk about the faith. My one question is, do you ever go to the bathroom? You can never do a three hour interview with me because I would have to take a break. Well, I thank you for watching. 
and uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you could subscribe and ring the bell, I would appreciate that because I enjoy the opportunity to share my artwork. I always want more eyeballs on it. So thank you very much. God bless.